Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this crossed box stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a fairly open crochet stitch, but it does feature a little bit of texture with these crossed box cluster stitches. It is similar on the front and the back, making it great for those reversible projects and it's fairly easy to work once you get the hang of it. Today I'm going to be working this cross box stitch in two different colors in a little bit of worsted weight. 100% cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. I'm also going to be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook and you can find links to these items in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video you'll find a direct link to the free written instructions which is found on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. Now our stitch today is worked in rows. You're going to start by taking your color A and making a slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain is going to be a multiple of eight stitches plus three. So today I'm going to start by chaining 27. Once you have worked your foundation chain, you're going to work a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to skip the next four chains and into your next chain work three double crochet stitches. This is the start of our crossed box cluster stitch. You're then going to chain two and now working over top of the three stitches just worked and into the third skipped chain. So if you count back one, two, three, into that third skipped chain, work three more double crochet stitches. You're going to work over top. This first row is a little bit fiddly just because it does want to twist around on you. But you're just working three double crochets back into that third skip stitch. You're then going to chain one. Skip the next five chains on your foundation chain and then repeat. Work three double crochets into the next stitch. Chain two. Now working over top of the three stitches just worked this time into the fourth skipped chain, you're going to work your three double crochet stitches. Chain one and repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across, at the end of row one, you're going to end with a single crochet into your final stitch. In this single crochet, you're going to switch to your color B. So to switch to your color B, insert your hook, yarn over with your color A and drop a loop. Then drop your color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and pull through. For this uh, swatch. We're just going to leave our, our colors attached and gently pull them up the side. 
uh, you may find with another project that you may need to fasten off and weave in your ends at the end of each row. It all depends on what you want to do with your project when you're finished. So for row two, we're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to work a half double crochet into the first stitch. Chain seven. Skip the next cross box cluster. So that's this entire cluster here. And you're going to work a double crochet stitch working over top of the chain one and into the fifth or the third chain of the five skip down below. So uh, you'll see three stitches of that set remaining and you're going to double crochet into that middle stitch. So just insert your hook, you're working over the chain one, yarn over, draw up a loop, you can pull it up a little bit taller, yarn over, we'll pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to chain seven once again, and repeat, skip the next cluster and into that third chain or it'd be the middle one of the final three remaining, work your double crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across and you'll finish with a half double crochet in your final stitch. half double crochet into that final single crochet stitch. At the end of row two, you're going to chain four and this counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work another row of crossed box clusters. So what we're going to do for row three is we're going to work three double crochet stitches all into the top of our first stitch. Chain one, skip the next seven chains, so that's our chain seven, and the double crochet, and into the next chain stitch worked, work three double crochet stitches. So you're skipping the chain space and the next double crochet, and then working your three double crochet stitches into that next chain stitch. Chain two, working over top of the three double crochet stitches just worked and into the seventh chain of that skipped chain seven. So you're skipping the double crochet just into the previous chain stitch. You're going to work three double crochet stitches. chain one. You're then going to skip the next six chains, skip the next double crochet stitch, and then work three double crochets into your next chain. So when you're working these cross box clusters, you're working them into the chains on either side of your double crochet stitches. So when you're working your second set, you're going to skip that double crochet into that sixth skipped chain, work your next three double crochet stitches.
you're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next six chains and double crochet stitch. Work three double crochets in your next stitch, chain two, then work three double crochets into the sixth skipped chain and chain one all the way across. When you come to your final chain 7 space, you're going to work everything into the final half double crochet stitch. So skip that final chain 7 into your final half double crochet. You're going to work 3 double crochet stitches. Chain 1 and 1 final double crochet. In this double crochet stitch, you're going to switch back to your color A. To do so, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the top of that stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, then pick up your color A, which should be hanging down here beside your work, carefully place it on your hook, not pulling too tight or leaving it too loose, and pull through. You're then all set at the end of row three with your color A to chain one and turn your work. For row four with your color A, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the top of your first stitch. You're then going to chain three. Next, skip the chain space and three double crochet. Now working over top of the chain one space, the chain seven, two rows below, and into the chain two space, three rows below, work one double crochet. So yarn over into this chain two space, three rows below, work a double crochet stitch and you can pull that up a little bit taller. You're then going to chain seven, skip the next crossed box cluster, once again into the chain two space of the cluster three rows below work one double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way across chain seven and work a double crochet into the chain two space, three rows below. When you come across to the end of your row and you have your four double crochet stitches left, you're going to chain three and then work a double crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four. So your double crochet just into that, or sorry, a single crochet just into the top of that double crochet stitch. That brings you to the end of your row four. For row five, we're going to chain one and turn our work. Next, single crochet into the first stitch. Skip the next chain three and double crochet stitch and into your next chain stitch work three double crochets.
chain two. Sorry, I'm going to go back. <laughs> After your single crochet, you need to work a chain one. Then work your three double crochets into the first chain following that double crochet stitch. Chain two. Now working back over top of the three double crochets just worked into the third skipped chain, work three double crochet stitches. Chain one. You're then going to skip the next six chains and double crochet into your next chain stitch. Work three double crochet stitches. Chain two into that sixth skipped chain on the other side of your double crochet. You're going to work three double crochet stitches. And chain one. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across, at the end of your row five, you're going to chain one and into your final stitch, work a single crochet stitch, switching back to your color B. And that's it as far as the repeats are concerned for this pattern. What you're going to do next is repeat rows two, three, four and five for as long as you would like. So your row two began with the chain one and that half double crochet into the first stitch followed by your chain seven and then long double crochet uh, that will be into the chain two space three rows below. So then repeat that uh, rows two, three, four and five for as long as you would like, fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's it for the crossed box stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.